Welcome back to the channel where today we will be making a baked blueberry cheesecake. This is a great dessert that can be made the day before so it would be great if you're planning ahead for something such as a party. Begin with the preparation of the tin and the biscuit base. It's essential to take your time on this and ensure a firm seal around the tin otherwise there is a risk that the cheesecake filling could leak out during the baking process. The tin needs to be lined with grease through paper. Cut a strip of paper about one and a half times the height of the tin's collar making sure the entire collar is covered in paper with the spring form in the open position. Take the base of the tin and place down on a sheet of paper and press down firmly while cutting the paper with a sharp knife. If you do not feel confident doing this, you can draw around the base of the plate with a pencil and then cut with scissors. Grease the inner sides of the tin and place a circular piece of paper on the base and then grease the collar before placing the remaining paper in the collar, ensuring there is a slight overlap at the join and the paper sits below the bottom of the tin. Close the tin ensuring the paper remains in place and forms a good seal. This may take you several attempts. For the biscuit base, take the digestives and place in a food processor. Pulse several times until a smooth breadcrumb texture is formed. Melt the butter, add to the mix and pulse again to give a sandy texture. Place the biscuit mixture into the lined tin and press down firmly ensuring the depth is even across the whole tin. Weigh out the ingredients for the filling. For this recipe I've used frozen blueberries as they are much cheaper to buy and they will be getting liquidised anyway. Blend the blueberries and the eggs before adding to the cream cheese and finally blend in the sugar. Ensure all the ingredients have been fully combined and then transfer to your pre-lined tin. Make sure that your tin sits in a deep lipped tray just in case any of the mixture does break out and leak during the baking process. Bake at 150 degrees Celsius for exactly one hour, remove very gently from the oven and allow to cool at room temperature. The cheesecake won't be fully set at this point, but should have a jelly-like appearance. Make sure during the cooling process that any movement of the cake is kept to a minimum and when at room temperature, transfer to the fridge to cool and set fully. When ready to serve, release the spring on the tin and gently remove the paper collar. Slice the cheesecake into eight slices. Always wipe the blade of the knife after every cut to keep a clean line on the cake. For this recipe I'm serving simply exactly as it comes out of the tin with no frills.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy making your own cheesecake. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And for more homemade recipes, check out one of my other recipes on screen now.